Here is my open challenge to Shirali. Stop making excuses about me supposedly being mean or rude. We're not buying it. Your excuse that I'm mean or rude will only be used by me and people like Christian Prince to destroy your fake God and fake prophet. And here's why. Your own sources say that your prophet insulted and cursed his companions, insulted and cursed an orphan girl, girl making her cry, insulted his enemies, and did even worse. He would murder men, rape their women, even those women whose husbands were still alive. He tra treated women folk like your wife, your daughter, as whores, as prostitutes in the name of temporary marriage called Zawaj al-Muta. So if you really, really believe what you say and you have a justified excuse and not debating me, then you would be consistent and you would bury Muhammad, take your Quran and bury it in the garbage bin or in the toilet where it belongs and you turn away from Allah because even your fake prophet doesn't live up according to your standard. So don't use that excuse, Shabir. You have made a living in blaspheming Jesus Christ for over 30 years. You have debated the same topic, Trinity, deity of Christ. And for 30 years, you've mocked Jesus, insulted Jesus, blasphemed Jesus, and you've perverted the scripture <clears throat> to defend a filthy, wicked, satanic dog named Muhammad and his filthy demon, Allah. Christians need to stop giving you respect. It is the fault of Christians who respect you. Because even your own Muslims have turned their backs against you. I don't know if you're aware of this. There are now Salafi Muslims who have gone on record criticizing Shibra Ali and warning Muslims from following him. Farida, you know Farid? Farida did a show not long ago criticizing Shibra Ali's attack on the Sunnah and Sharia. Not only that, in a debate that Adnan Rashid had with Samuel Green. He was asked about Shabir Ali, and in that debate, and there's a clip, I'm going to find it for you, we're going to play it. In that debate, he pretty much says that Shabir Ali does not represent us anymore. They're ashamed of him and embarrassed by him. So the Muslims are not supporting him. Shabir Ali is not a source of information to us. Shabir Ali has other uh, ideas we don't agree with. Shabir Ali actually is one of those speakers in the Muslim world who is... Uh, uh, you know, who has actually freed himself from the tradition. So he has made statements publicly that are against uh, traditional uh, sciences of Islam. And we don't accept Shabir Ali as an authority on Islam, although he's a, uh, he's a brother, he's a great speaker, he's a great debater, no doubt, but he's not an authority for us to take Islam from him. So don't use that as an excuse. It won't work. That's number one. Number two, even though on my live stream, I call you out for what you are, a demon, a swine who needs to be muzzled and crushed under the feet of Jesus Christ, which by the power of the Holy Spirit I will do if we debate, but you, you're not man enough to do it because you know why you're running, like you're running from Christian Prince. The mic right there. Hello? Yeah, I just came to ask the million dollar question. Uh, Shabir, when will you, uh, will you ever debate Christian Prince? Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I, uh, for those of you who don't know Christian Prince, uh, he is uh, a, a personality who has been uh, operating some sort of an internet radio broadcast as far as I can remember. Uh, he contacted me a long time ago asking if I would debate him and I said yes. Uh, uh, and, and then uh, eventually I bought his book. Uh, and um, uh, then I, I don't want to say anything about him because he's not here, but, but uh, falling from the correspondence and the way things were going, uh, I, I felt that, you know, pe people, uh, as, as you play ball, you play in certain leagues, right? You play in junior league, you play, you know, you, you advance from that and so on. I felt that we were not in the same league. Um, uh, so maybe he's in a higher league than I am, uh, and God knows. Uh, in the debate, I will not personally attack you. I will destroy your arguments. I will turn your arguments against you, and I will destroy your fake God and fake prophet. That I will do. But I won't insult you unless you insult the Lord Jesus, blaspheme Jesus. Then I will humiliate you like I did Yahya. So don't use that as an excuse. So here is my challenge as I'm about to now review your recent debate to show you're a wicked, filthy, 
blasphemous swine of the devil and do not deserve any respect. And if any true Christian respects you, then they must question whether they are a true Christian because a true Christian will not respect someone who's made a career. You have made a career for blaspheming the God of the Bible, blaspheming Jesus, your God, and Muhammad's destroyer, the destroyer of Allah, your God, and mocking his word. You've made a career out of it. You made a career out of it. Here's my open challenge to you, and I'll come on your channel, my, my promise. I'll come to your live stream where you control the format, and you can then silence me like a coward. I'll come to your channel. I'll come to your studio. If you want me to come in person, I'll come in person. Or we can do it online. Here are the debate challenges that you must accept if you're really a man who really fears Allah and think you're intelligent enough and have the truth. Number one, the Quranic view of the Bible. You must debate me on that. Number two, does Islam teach Tawheed? Does Islam teach Tawheed? Number three, does the Bible teach Trinity? Trinity? Is the Trinity biblical? Number four, is Muhammad a moral example for us to follow? Let me repeat my challenges. Let's see if you're really a man who fears Allah and think that you have the intelligence to defend your lie and refute my truth. Quran, Quran's view of the Bible. Quran's view of the Bible. First debate. Number two. Does Islam teach Tawheed? Does Islam teach Tawheed? Number three, is the Trinity biblical? Does the Bible teach the Trinity? And number four, was or is Muhammad a moral example for people to follow? Shabir, I'm calling you out. Your excuses don't work. It only works with the effeminate, sissified Christians who think they do Jesus a favor by throwing the real soldiers of Christ under the bus and tickling the ears of blasphemous swine like you. You are a swine and you are a dog, the same dog and swine that Jesus warned about in Matthew 7, verse 6, that I don't apologize calling you because that's what you are. But in the debate, I won't attack you personally, so don't use that as an excuse. Let's see if you really believe Allah's God. Take me up. I'll come to your channel to your live stream, to your Zoom, to your stream yard, and I'll even come in person to your mosque. Call me out. Call my bluff if I'm lying. Let's do it, Shabir. We're not going to do two topics in one so that you can run like the coward that you are, you son of the devil. May the Lord Jesus give you what you deserve if he doesn't give you repentance because you deserve the judgment that will come upon you. In Jesus' name. It's not the hardest thing to do. How can I question you? Throw my life into the fray. Like go and live my life your way. Make these changes, make me strong. Lead to his grace to guide you on. Lord, I say from bend and kneel to what you ask of me. Bring these dreams to make me